Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So this is the fourth and final video in the Emotional Adultery series. So if you have not seen the previous three, I definitely will have a playlist linked below. Definitely go ahead and check out those. So today's video is for the person who needs to forgive the emotional adulterer. And we'll talk about those 11 tips right after this. All right, thanks fam for coming back again. This video is how to forgive the emotional adulterer. And um, there are 11 tips as mentioned before. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video, all right? The first thing that you should do actually is when you are good and ready, forgive the person. Don't forgive because it is the next thing that you must do, but you forgive them when you are good and ready to Forgive them and to move the relationship forward. That's the key. You're forgiving them, but you're also forgiving them to move the relationship forward. The second thing that you must do is to identify the part that you played in this breakdown in your relationship. Examine all of the reasons there were for your partner straining. What part did you play in it? You're not as innocent as you think you are. The third way to forgive is to allow your emotions to show and to actually feel them. Don't become numb because this is something hard to deal with. That is a part of life. That is a part of the growth process. And this is a part of you guys coming back together to heal together. Walk in your feelings for the moment. Show them because it hurts. It does hurt. And you don't have to walk around as if nothing is bothering you because it hurts. It does bother you. And you just want to know why and what happened. And a part of knowing why and what happened is to also figure out your part that you played in this and why the relationship broke down enough for your partner to feel like they were missing something, which is why they went outside of the relationship to get it. The fourth way to forgive your partner is to discuss what you want your relationship to look like with your spouse for the future. Because you don't want this breakdown to ever happen again, whether it's the emotional, cheating which we're talking about or the physical cheating you don't want this type of relationship breakdown to come back around and so you're coming up with a plan to tighten this up what do you want your relationship to look like in the future with your spouse the fifth way to forgive the emotional adulterer is actually just to think about new ways to solve the problems before they get this far down the road. New ways, new fresh ways, exciting ways to solve the issues, the things that you don't want to deal with, which is why we're here now, because you didn't want to deal with said issues if you knew about them, right? But I'm pretty sure there was something there that your spouse had mentioned more than one time and the breakdown just kept occurring, 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 which is why we are here today. Think about new ways to solve issues when they come when they come up, especially the ones that you don't want to tackle, that you don't want to deal with. The seventh way to forgive is to keep talking, to keep listening. Don't give up on your spouse. Don't give up on your partner, no matter how long it takes. As I mentioned before, this road is going to get heavier, deeper, before it gets better, before it goes back into smooth sailing. There are some rocky mountains that you too must go through. Before it gets better. And it's okay because it is going to get better because now you guys are doing the work. And as long as you guys stay committed to doing the work, one day, you won't have to work on this any longer because you'll be over it, both of you, 
together. And you'll see that you guys have made a stronger, more committed relationship to one another. The ninth way could be a little bit tricky, but to think about setting a timer or a talking time when you're talking about this, because you don't want your spouse or partner to get super drained, to get super irritated. They're feeling like they're just answering the question over and over and over again, even though I already said do it as much as possible. But if you're going round and round and round and round in circles and it never seems to be resolved, maybe after 30 minutes, even after an hour, take a break, take a break from it. Because in that break, you could think of another way to resolve and help them understand what you were trying to say. But if you keep going round and round and round and round and round, you both are only going to end up frustrated even more. So at some point, if you, if you feel like you're going round and round and round and round and round, especially about the same thing, you are going to have to, uh, like I mentioned, find a different way to solve the issue. But specifically here, Find a different way to communicate the information to your partner, to your spouse, so they can hear you, so they can understand you, because right now they still don't, which is why you keep going around and around and around and around circles. It's because you're not explaining it as well as you could, which is why your partner is not able to receive the information. The tenth way to start forgiving is to try your very best just to get away one-on-one, -on -one, what is just you two and where you're not talking about the emotional affair. That way, you two can get back to bonding with each other. You two can get back to creating the happy memories with one another without the distraction, including the distraction of talking about what happened. When you get back away from vacation mode, then you can talk about it some more, if need be. But at some point, you are going to get tired of discussing this. And if you plan a vacation or a little getaway, even if it's for the weekend, try your very best not to let this be brought up, at least in that time frame, so you can get back to enjoying one another without this obvious distraction. The 11th and final point that I want to bring up is to think about talking to a therapist or a counselor, your pastor, somebody. Somebody on the outside who can actually give you a fresh set of eyes and ears without the judgment or being on either person's side. They are a neutral party listening to the breakdown and what occurred and to be able to help you get walk through it and get through this stage of your life. All right, family, so that is the fourth and final video in this emotional adultery series. Definitely let me know what you think about it. Of course, leave your comments down in the comment section below because you know that I love to continue the conversation. Absolutely, absolutely, let's continue the conversation down in the comment section below because if you've been there before, then you know how hurt and painful this can be for you. And if you have been there, I would absolutely love to read how you overcame and you and your spouse overcame this particular issue in your relationship. And so would my other subscribers as well. Definitely think about subscribing if this is your very first time here because here at I Love Me, 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 I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships. I will see you again in a future video. Deuces.